In other words, the chemicals were rebranded, but there's a big question as to whether or not they were substantively improved. And that brings us back to today, where we are now seeing publicly what many already suspected. Court filings show tens of thousands of pounds of PFAS continued to be released across multiple years over the legal limits. And this lawsuit by West Virginia Rivers Coalition is not isolated either. For last month, DuPont, Camores, and Corteva, another chemical company, settled another lawsuit for nearly $2 billion in the New Jersey area over the same family of chemicals. To me, this highlights an enormous problem. A company found to be in violation over several years of environmental law and its permits is still being allowed to get additional permits to grow its operation. Uh, it just raises serious concerns about enforcement pro uh, priorities and just the teeth or lack thereof of our regulatory system. The upcoming trial will determine penalties, compliance measures, and whether regulatory agencies will finally impose lasting limits that have actual teeth in them, or if we will just kind of see more of the same.